Chumba from Kenya. The other three Ethiopians. Geremu was second here last year to Kipchoge. Kitata second the year before to Kipchoge. Can one of them take the victory this time round? Or will it still be a Kenyan in charge at the end? We've got about ooh, six, seven hundred metres, maybe eight hundred metres left of running. When well, you think about the first London Marathon and two men side by side going across the line, for, this is the 40th and uh, four men who are still so, so close and separated by so little. Just a little bit further back, Johnny Mellor really has dropped Ben Connor. Connor having agonies in the, in the uh, final stages of this marathon, but still running pretty well and just hoping for that finish line to come. But what a finish we're going to have up at the front here. Get him, you now looking around and is he beginning to fall back of the, of the lead three? Garamu under pressure, he's looked comfortable, but if you haven't got pace, if you can't pick it up, nothing you can do about it. He could probably keep running that pace for another three, four miles, who knows? So now we're down to three. I was beginning to think we were going to get that great race when there were four or five men coming into the mile together a few years back. But now there'll only be three as Garamu takes a look behind. Nothing happening behind him. It's all in front of him. Lemmer, Kipchumba and Kitata. Lemmer last year, third in the Berlin Marathon when he ran that two hours, 3.36. One of the quickest runs of all time. Katata still nibbling away at the front, isn't he? Still looking as though he's got what it takes, but you have to say Kipchumba for a long, long time has looked good and has looked comfortable. This is going to be a sprint. Who's got the legs? A couple of more corners left. A few hundred metres of running, that's all. It's like a track race now. Kitata just with half a meter. Lemmer's back there as well. Kipchumba looks as though he's ready, but can any of these men raise anything more than just a, an increased cadence? Can any of them actually start sprinting? They'll be tired, the legs will be hurting. And now Kipchumba on this side and Lemmer on the other side. Kitata's the only one who responds, or it's Kenyan who's just forging ahead. Not by much, though. It's only half a metre. Neck and neck, stride for stride. Kipchumba and Kitata, the two of them, locked in battle. Nobody giving even half a centimetre, but now Kitata finds a little bit extra. It's going to be Kitata who takes the victory. Kipchumba second, Lemmer third. A great finish to the men's London Marathon in 2020. And it's Ethiopia who take the title in the form of Shira Kitata. Second two years ago. And it's sweet, sweet victory for him in this very special year. Geremu, even though he looked the best, couldn't raise the sprint that the others could. Wazza and his teammate, the two men who were second and third last year, having to watch others contend the finish as Charlie Holson takes the bell on his last lap and then we'll be watching for Kipchoge to come up the home straight but the battle for the British title continues Stay there. I'll go back to that in a second here he is Elliot Kipchoge well apart from his Olympic victory in Rio this is his slowest of his marathons and the first time he's been beaten since 2013 and the first time he's finished as low down and i use that as a phrase which uh, many athletes would be happy to finish in the top six in the london marathon but not this man yeah, that's not what he's used to i'm surely go and congratulate everybody else because he's that type of competitor but for whatever reason he wasn't able to produce a performance today it wasn't fast but it was hard and we had a real surprise in terms of the result 